Internet giants Microsoft and Google have teamed up in the UK to help prevent child pornography being accessed online. But experts say the move will do little to stop pedophiles operating in the dark corners of the internet. Naturally, Downing Street officials are portraying this as a victory for David Cameron. The internet companies had seemed reluctant to take action to censor content. But pressure from the PM has brought together two huge rivals, Google and Microsoft, in a rare display of unity. Wherever you build a wall, uh, someone's going to try and get over, under or around it. It's important we collaborate on such an important issue. We do take a lot of effort to, to remove and report this content, but we do accept that there is more that we can, can be done, and we're very happy to do that. But immediately, people are searching for evidence that it will make any real difference. Halting predictive text on searches might stop the innocent being inadvertently led astray. So might warnings about illegal behaviour. But experts in child protection say it won't block determined paedophiles. This is the beginning and not the end. And it's a small step forward, not a huge one, when it comes to actual child protection. What we need to see now is the Prime Minister's focus and influence being used to help us catch the predators. The programme allows analysts to break down every video to calculate a unique digital signature. That signature is then matched against other versions online, even if they've been edited or altered. Once they've been identified, all copies are then deleted from the internet. Stuart Hazel scoured the web for underage pornography before murdering Tia Sharp. But most images shared by paedophiles are done so on closed networks beyond the capacity of internet search engines. That requires global police action.